Picture this, billions of miles away from the daily hustle and bustle of our Earth, beyond the vast expanse of our cosmic neighborhood, lies a mysterious world that has recently captivated the attention of astronomers and space enthusiasts alike. Welcome to K218b, an enigmatic exoplanet, floating quietly amidst the ink-black void of space. This distant world has just revealed a monumental discovery, one that changes the way we look at the universe. For the very first time, carbon-bearing molecules, specifically methane and carbon dioxide, have been detected on this far-off planet. But what makes this revelation so incredible? It wasn't just discovered by any ordinary telescope, no, this was uncovered by the powerful eye of the James Webb Space Telescope. A tool so sophisticated, it can peer into the deepest reaches of space with an unprecedented level of detail. Now, you might be thinking, what's the big deal with methane and carbon dioxide? We have them right here on Earth. And you'd be right. We associate methane with the bubbling marshlands, and carbon dioxide has become all too familiar in climate change discussions. But when we detect these same molecules on a far-off world, that's where the plot thickens. And here's why. Let's set the stage for this cosmic adventure. In a galaxy teeming with stars, planets, and cosmic mysteries, K218 b stands out. This colossal exoplanet weighs in at 8.6 times the mass of Earth. To put that into perspective, imagine taking Earth and stacking it on top of itself, almost nine times over. Now that's a big planet. But k 218 b isn't just large, it might even be a Hycean planet A term that is sending ripples through the scientific community. A Hycean planet is a world that could potentially possess a hydrogen-rich atmosphere and, even more thrilling, an ocean-covered surface. Just like Earth's oceans, but in the cold, distant reaches of space. The mere thought of oceans on another world sparks our imaginations, stirring the possibility of life in a place we never expected. This discovery isn't just a piece of trivia for space enthusiasts, it's a tantalizing clue to some of our most profound questions. Could there be life elsewhere? Are there other planets out there capable of sustaining life, perhaps even life like ours? The very detection of these carbon-bearing molecules hints at a world unlike any other. It whispers tales of foreign skies, strange atmospheres, and maybe, just maybe, life beyond Earth. The presence of methane and carbon dioxide on K218b hints at a delicate balance of atmospheric conditions that could foster life, or at least the ingredients necessary for it. And the plot thickens further when we learn that K218b lies in its star's habitable zone a sweet spot around its parent star where conditions might be just right for life to flourish. Imagine this, K218b orbits a cool dwarf star painting a beautiful cosmic backdrop for this extraordinary exoplanet. Though it's located 120 light-years away from us in the constellation Leo, it feels oddly close in its mystery. But here's where things get even more fascinating. The term sub-Neptune is often used to describe K218b, and that's significant. Sub-Neptunes are worlds that are larger than Earth but smaller than Neptune, and they don't exist in our solar system. So, in a way, we're dealing with a cosmic anomaly. We've never seen anything quite like K218b in our backyard, yet they're surprisingly common in the broader galaxy. This raises some intriguing questions for astronomers. Why are there no sub-Neptunes in our solar system? And what makes these planets such unique candidates for study? Their very rarity in our system makes them even more tantalizing. But let's not stop there. The real excitement begins when we introduce the idea of Hycean planets. These worlds, which K218b could very well be, are new possibilities for habitable environments. We've been focused on rocky planets, 
the ones that resemble Earth. But these larger, ocean-covered worlds with hydrogen-rich atmospheres present an entirely new frontier in our search for extraterrestrial life. It's like looking for keys under a street lamp because that's where the light is, but what if the keys are somewhere else, hidden in the dark, waiting to be discovered? As astronomer Niku Madsudan from the University of Cambridge explains, our search for extraterrestrial life may have been too narrow. We've looked at rocky planets in our search for life, but there are vast areas we haven't even considered yet. This new understanding invites us to explore these Hycean worlds, which could drastically change how we look for life in the universe. But that's not all. There's another molecule on K218b that's been causing a stir among scientists, dimethyl sulfide, DMS. It's a molecule that, while not commonly thought of, could be a signature of life. On Earth, DMS is primarily produced by phytoplankton in our oceans. So, the very idea that we might be detecting DMS on K218b is sending ripples of excitement through the scientific community. It's like a cosmic breadcrumb leading us toward the possibility that life, perhaps microbial life, might exist on this distant world. Let's not get ahead of ourselves though. While the presence of methane, carbon dioxide, and DMs on K218b is incredibly exciting, it's still early days. These molecules could be formed by processes unrelated to life, so the evidence needs to be studied further. But imagine the next steps. As scientists continue to peer deeper into K218b's atmosphere, we may discover even more profound revelations. What if, just what if, life as we know it, or life as we don't yet understand it, exists on this far-off world? Here's where things get even more complicated, and fascinating. The very fact that K218b sits within the habitable zone of its parent star doesn't automatically mean it's capable of hosting life. It's easy to think of the habitable zone as the perfect environment for life, liquid water, temperate climates. But what if K218b's oceans aren't the tranquil, earth-like seas we imagine, but instead boiling cauldrons, too hot to support life as we know it? It's this delicate balance that makes K218b such an intriguing mystery. Scientists are quick to point out that the term habitable is much more nuanced than we think. It's not just about having liquid water. It could mean oceans that are too hot to sustain life, or it could refer to an atmosphere that's rich in oxygen, but under such immense pressure that it would crush us instantly. These are the complexities of space exploration, and it's these very nuances that make the story of K218b so captivating. Every discovery peels back a new layer, revealing more about the nature of habitability in the cosmos. But let's take a step back for a moment and consider the larger implications. As we discover new worlds like K218b, we're not just learning about distant planets, we're also learning about ourselves. Could there be other forms of life out there that don't fit our Earth-centric view of what life should look like? Could there be underwater ecosystems on oceanic worlds, floating life forms on gas giants, or strange alien beings living on worlds we haven't even imagined. As we contemplate the vastness of the universe, K218b reminds us that we are part of a much larger cosmic story, one that is unfolding right before our eyes. As our knowledge of the universe expands, so too does our understanding of life's potential. Every molecule we detect, every piece of data we collect, brings us closer to answering one of humanity's oldest questions, are we alone in the universe? K218b, with its tantalizing discoveries, is just the beginning. And the James Webb Space Telescope, our cosmic detective, will continue to lead the charge, unlocking more secrets of distant exoplanets and pushing the boundaries of what we know about the cosmos. Imagine for a moment, with just two observations, Webb has already unveiled a wealth of information about K218b. 
What happens when it dives deeper into the cosmic sea? What wonders will it reveal? The potential is limitless, and we're on the verge of something extraordinary. So, as you ponder these discoveries, know that you're not just a passive observer. You're part of the cosmic adventure. Each new revelation, each new mystery uncovered, brings us all closer to understanding the vast, beautiful, and mysterious universe that surrounds us. And in this shared journey, one thing is certain, the wonders of the cosmos.